Did you know that there are butterflies that rarely, if ever, visit flowering plants? Yep, it's true. And even though they may not be attracted to the blooms in your butterfly garden, there are ways to get these beautiful and sometimes odd butterflies to frequent your yard. Let's start off with a super simple but effective way to attract those non-flower foraging butterflies. That will also benefit other butterfly species and pollinators. This is something referred to as a butterfly puddle or mudding spot, which is more like a small area of moist soil and less of a puddle. To make one, simply leave an area of cleared soil, a foot or two in diameter, in your pollinator garden. On the edge somewhere would be best. Then simply keep that soil moist by watering it as needed. It doesn't have to be soil. A thin layer of gravel can be placed in the area if the look suits your taste and garden vibe better. The key is to keep it moist so that butterflies can suck the moisture and dissolved minerals from it. Not only will all types of butterflies be drawn to it, but native bees, honeybees, and other insects may visit it as well. Here is an example of a natural mudding spot next to a creek with several species of butterflies using it. This spot happens to be a river otter latrine. Which brings up another point, butterflies are especially drawn to urine. I will let you use that bit of info however you see fit. If you love oddball butterflies, pretend that like button is a puddle and give it a visit. Many of the butterflies that don't visit flowers satisfy their sugar requirements by visiting overripe or rotting fruit. A simple way to attract these species, which include the red spotted purple and the hackberry emperor, is to set out melon rinds or overripe fruit, especially berries. I only recommend doing this in a place away from doors and walkways in case some wasp or yellow jackets show up. But the number of cool butterflies overripe fruit can bring in is worth it. Photographers take note. This is a great way to set up some awesome butterfly shots. Be sure to remove the fruit before the sun goes down or you may end up attracting critters you don't want like raccoons and opossums. Since it is somewhat relevant to the next segment, which do you prefer, the Adams Family or the Munsters? And now we get to a weird way to attract butterflies to your garden, but one of my favorites. Some butterflies commonly feed on decaying animals. Now I am not suggesting you put roadkill in your pollinator garden. I mean, who would do that? But I have noticed that when I'm washing skulls, everybody washes skulls, right? Butterflies like the question mark in morning cloak seem to appear like magic to suck the nutrient filled goodness out of the wet bones. So if you're into skulls and critter bones, who doesn't love skulls? They can be strategically placed in your pollinator garden, and after a summer rain, they will likely be visited by some cool butterflies. I just mentioned the morning cloak butterfly, which is truly an awesomely weird species. If you'd like to learn more about it, check out this video, and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.